Wow, wow. It's coming out like lava. Mm -hmm. This person is a scientist. I've got the most technical cooking method for eggs. This has got balls. Come to mama. Today we're here to find out who makes the best egg dish. It's not Yoki, you get Hulk Ryan. Divine, divine, absolutely divine. Hey, I think it looks pretty sexy. Zing. This is a moment. I think we need to take a moment. We are trying each other's eggs. <sighs> eggs. I am so excited for this. Eggs are literally my favorite food. Whether they be poached, crispy fried, boiled. No matter where you go, you're gonna find eggs. One of the world's most eaten foods. I'm no scientist or anything, but I bet you there's stats to back that up. So I've got a joke for you. Why should you be careful around egg whites? I'll give you a second to think. Okay, because they can't take a yolk. <laughs> what I'm going to be looking for is flavour. And also, the other thing is texture. Sometimes eggs can be like a little bit too runny, if you ask me. So the way it works is we're each going to make our favourite egg dish, then we're going to rate them out of 10, and the person with the highest amount of points wins. Just to let you know, all the eggs that we've used today are free-range eggs and have been locally sourced. Let's do this. The recipe I'm making is on tama eggs on rice, inspired by my love for Japanese food. The word on tama comes from two words, onsen tamago, and this refers to eggs being cooked in a Japanese onsen. They've got this translucent texture, they're silky smooth, and there's no other egg like them. So the first thing I do is get one litre of water and I put that in a pan. I'm gonna bring it to a rapid boil, take it off the heat, and then I'm gonna add 200 mils of tap water. I'm going to slowly add the eggs in and they're going to sit in the water. The lid goes back on the pot and start a timer for 17 minutes. Need to watch that like a hawk. Next up, I'm gonna make the killer sauce, soy sauce, mirin, some brown sugar. Then I'm going to add some sesame oil. Caramelize that golden brown. Take that off the heat, it goes into a glass. We're gonna add chopped spring onions, some sesame seeds, and good to go. Once that's done, we're gonna take them out and they're gonna rest for five minutes off heat. Let's crack the eggs over in. Oh, nope, not that one, that didn't work. This is like scary because you don't know if they're cooked inside. Oh! Look how perfect that egg is. Crack the eggs on a bed of rice. There they go, they look perfect. Garnish it with some coriander, lots of crispy shallots, sesame seeds, and also some Japanese sashimi powder. Pour the sauce over it and that's the egg dish done. Looks wonderful, magical, theatrical. This dish is going to blow the other chef's mind. I am seeing like an experience. There is like a silkiness to the egg whites here. Very soft. It looks a bit jelly-like. And then we've got this beautiful aromatic dressing. God, I wish you could all smell it because it smells divine. Now the food porn part, breaking the yolk. Mmm, that smells divine. Like look at that silky, silky. Mmm. Let's see what we think. Mmm. My goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. Asian vibes. There's textures. I was worried about the translucent egg. It actually is really quite yum. That dressing, it's salty, it's sweet, absolutely divine. It's wholesome, healthy, hearty. The crispy shallots is really good too. Just makes it a bit more of a texture. I'm surprised that I like it as much as I do. A little bit too much salt, but that's if I'm being super picky. I'm going to rate this dish a nine out of 10. I think it's been executed really well. It's quite technical, it's simple and clean. So I'm gonna give it eight and a half. The rice to egg ratio is a lot though. I think just adding maybe a few more flavors perhaps. Because of the level of technique, I gotta give this a seven. So today I'm making scotch eggs because it is my all time favorite egg dish. They're crispy on the outside, they're soft in the middle, but I'm making a vegetarian version and I promise you it's going to be absolutely delicious. First, my batter. Blend together lots of chickpeas, boiled potatoes, herbs, dukkha, lemon for freshness, salt, pepper, until a rough paste forms. Boil my eggs just for five minutes until they're perfectly softly boiled. Peel off the shells, then take some of our batter, smooth it out onto your hand so we get a nice thin layer. Then take your little soft boiled egg and wrap it up like a little present and dip it into some flour, then some eggs, and then some breadcrumbs and dukkha. So that's going to form the very crispy, delicious golden crust. 
we take our scotch egg and we deep fry it quickly, not for a long time, until it's perfectly golden brown, crispy on the outside, soft and delicious in the middle. I smooth over some of my delicious whipped feta, then I place my scotch eggs on top. I top with chervil, that's a small microherb, and then I also drizzle over lots of chili oil for a lot of spice. They are an unexpected surprise with a crispy outside and a creamy center. Oh, and by the way, Scotch eggs aren't actually Scottish, they're English. <gasps> what? Wow, wow, wow. Someone made this for me? I can see that's fried, so that's a big win for me. I think we need to take a moment. Whoever made this is an artiste. I could frame this, put it on my wall. A whipped feta situation. There's no meat, so I feel like it's the, a beautiful vegetarian sister of a scotch egg. Can you hear that? Oh, whoa. It's coming out like lava. Oh, Ooh, that it's e can we Can we take a moment for this egg yolk? Silky, velvety, not too runny. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crunch. I could eat this all. This person is a scientist because in order to fry an already soft egg, that takes a lot of skill and wonderment. Usually they're quite heavy. This on the other hand was light. It's got this potato mash on the outside. Don't get me started on the feta. Because the feta is quite cold and then you've got like the spicy chili oil. It's just a really good combo. It's a very big portion, but I don't really have anything to say that I, that you know, it could improve. I think this person did an exemplary job. I have to say that I am really scared now. The competition is stiff. I'm gonna give this definitely a strong nine. Room for improvement. Adding a bit more dukkha. I love like lots of flavor. I don't really know if I can fault this. So I think my score for this person is a nine out of 10. But there is a fault. It's just a lot. Maybe yeah. give me one egg, but then again, that's just me personally. It absolutely looks like perfection on a plate. So for that reason, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Yes! So today I'm making huevos rancheros because like, who doesn't like Mexican food? It's savory, it's filling, it's like hearty. First of all, I'm gonna add a, a tablespoon of olive oil on a medium to high heat. Add two cloves of chopped garlic. Half a yellow capsicum that I've thinly sliced and let that saute for another minute or so. Now I'll add 400 grams of black beans that I've rinsed. And now I'm gonna add 400 grams of tinned tomato. Now I'm gonna just make some indentations into the sauce. Crack four eggs into the indentations of the pan and then cover. I'm gonna leave my eggs cooking for about five to six minutes because I like it to be not too soft, but it's still a little bit gooey. For the pickled onion, what you're gonna need is one red onion, a tablespoon of salt, and then further to that, sugar, and then two tablespoons of vinegar. Now you can use any type of vinegar. Today, I'm just using white vinegar. And now I'm just gonna add one cup of water and just let that sit for about an hour and then bang, you got pickled onions. I've got my pan with the eggs, which I'm just gonna leave and serve it in the skillet because hey, I think it looks pretty sexy. Now I've got the pickled onion that I've made before. Just gonna place that there. Half a fanned avocado. Now I've got some tortillas. I'm using flour today. And then I'm just gonna finish it off with a little bit of coriander. Yum. And chili flake, enjoy. I think this is gonna be the best just because you can eat it at any time. It's kind of healthy. It's packed with protein and really easy to make. I am getting aromas and flavors of Mexico. Build your own adventure kind of brekkie. It, it smells absolutely divine. I'm gonna call you out here. Um, is everything divine? Everything smells divine, yes. <laughs> Absolutely divine. I can say that word again and again. I've cooked this dish before and I'm a big fan of it. I love that there's a little wedge of lime so that we can acidulate. Say it with me, Tom, acidulate. Acidulate, and what does that mean? That means to apply acid to something so that it doesn't discolor. I love coriander. Look at that beautiful soft tortilla. Let's see whether we get that perfectly yolky center. Oh, okay. We're a bit more hard boiled on this egg. The egg yolk is not the viscosity that I like it, but that's okay, let's taste it first. Don't judge a book by its cover, guys. Oh. Let's take a bite of all this and see what happens. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is fun. I like it. Jazzy breakfast. My favorite elements from a vegetarian taco. 
pop some eggs on there. Bob's your uncle. We've got the hearty tomato bean mixture, which sort of grounds the dish. But these red pickled onions really jazz things up. I could eat a jar of them on their own quite happily. Definitely giving me sustenance, it's giving me energy, it's giving me brightness. The only thing that I would say is letting it down a little bit is the egg yolk. Whether you hate it or love it, a runny egg yolk or that little bit of that, just a little bit of something does take that dish from home level to cafe level. I think that there's some crucial elements that aren't coming through to me. There's sort of a lack of salt or maybe a lack of spice. I think the only thing that I would have preferred is if the yolks were a little bit more runny. So the way that I'm going to rate today is a 7.5 all round. I'm super impressed and would love to eat this again. I would give it a six out of 10, purely because egg is the star of the show for what we're doing today. The egg. I don't feel like it was the hero. So for that reason, I'm gonna give this dish a 6.5 out of 10. My dish today is a Pakistani twist on shachuka, which is otherwise known as baked eggs. So I took a beautiful dish that my mum makes for us and it's derived from both Pakistan and India. So it's a beautiful remix of a classic. How to make a Pakistani shachuka. Heat the oil, throw in some cumin seeds, throw in some onions, ginger garlic paste, and cook out until lightly golden brown. Turmeric, chili powder, coriander powder, and garam masala. Add in your tomato puree and let this simmer for about an hour. After this, add in your red kidney beans, allow this to simmer, and then add in a handful of spinach, add in your eggs, and cover it with a lid in order for the eggs to cook to your liking. Add in some cheese. Once your cheese is melted a little bit, top with a little bit of fresh coriander, salt, pepper, and Italian herbs, and it's ready to serve. That's how you make a Pakistani shachuka, representing that desi power. You know, we love it. As always, this is a dish coming from the heart, and I really hope it resonates with the other chefs. Ooh, this looks like something I've never seen before. I think it smells better than it looks, to be honest. Actually, ugly food tastes really good. So I'm really keen to get stuck into it. Hopefully we're gonna get some yolk porn happening. Oh yeah. It's quite saucy. Mmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. That tastes incredible. I'm loving this. Saltiness, spiciness. This is a shakshuka, baby. Pure magic in my mouth. That is divine. <laughs> Middle Eastern version of like baked beans and eggs, which is way better than the westernized version. The fact that there's something to dunk into this dish means I can soak up all that liquidy goodness. It's smoky, it's got lots of beautiful spices in there. I feel like this is like a family passed down on recipe. This has got balls. So I'm gonna give this a eight and a half. The only thing I think it might be missing is maybe a little squeeze of lemon to freshen it up. I'm gonna rate this dish an eight. But in saying that, I'm still gonna take it away and eat it afterwards. The yolk, tick, it was runny. The sauce, mmm, so much flavor. I'm gonna give this one out of 10. Really? Oh my God, thank you guys. It was such a pleasure to cook for you and I'm so glad you enjoyed my scotch eggs. Thanks for watching guys. Tell us what food you would like us to cook next. See you next time.